Hey folks, welcome back to Autumn Woods. On this episode, we're going to talk about the rig that we used when we went Edisto River fishing. And I caught some nice brim, some catfish, and an eel. This setup is going to be a little bit different than what we use uh, in the lake when we're brim fishing. In the river, we were bottom fishing. What we're using here is a medium action rod with the Zebco 404 reel. This is actually a new rod that I bought a couple weeks ago. So when we're fishing in the river, I like to bottom fish. That's my favorite way to do it in the river. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put on our weight or our lead. And I'm using about a half ounce barrel weight. And we'll put that on first. Slide it on down. And then we're gonna put on a bead. Now what the bead does is the bead helps when your lead comes down and hits your knot, it helps to sort of cushion that lead from hitting that knot. Kind of saves your line, keeps your keeps your line from from getting weak. So the next thing we're gonna do after we put on our bead is we're gonna put on a leader. Now on this one I'm putting a leader. It's about a 12 inch leader. It's got a barrel swivel on one end and it's got your hook clip on the other. We're gonna we're gonna tie this on our line just get this one out of the way because this was on here a few minutes ago and I took it off. So we got our leader here. Now there's two things that I use when I'm river fishing. I either use steel leader like this or I use a snail with a barrel swivel. And some people say well, why do you need to use a barrel swivel? Well you don't have to use a barrel swivel. If you go back a couple episodes in our playlist and you watch a uh, rigging up for catfishing video, I didn't put a barrel swivel on when we put our leader on because that was the basic rig. I'm not going to say this is too much more advanced, but what happens when you're fishing in current with, with river fishing is that water is flowing. So what happens, your leader and your bait moves like this. Well, a lot of times, if you don't have on a barrel swivel, your leader can actually tie around your, your weight. So the barrel swivel lets your leader and your bait move and it doesn't get wrapped around your lead. So this is why we're gonna do that. Now the knot that we're gonna to use to tie this on is a strong fishing knot. It's called the Palomar knot. The Palomar knot is good for braided line, a monofilament line, it's good for tying on lures, it's good for tying swivels on, it's good for tying on large hooks. So the first thing we do with our Palomar knot is we're gonna get a good, plenty of string that we have to work with and we're gonna make a loop we're going to bend it in half like that. On that bend, we're going to put through we're going to put that bend through our eye like that. And then we're going to come around and we're going to do a, just with that a simple square knot. Square knot just like so. We'll pull to have our loop here. And once we make that loop, I just pulled it out a little bit so it'd be a little bigger we're going to take our hook end and we're going to put it through just like that and we're going to then pull it all together on our swivel and there we have the palomar knot it's very strong i usually tie the Trilene knot on everything, but I learned of this Palomar knot from a YouTube video 
that I watched and it's actually the preferred knot of Ron Bennett if you ever watched his fishing he he likes the palomar knot so I learned this from him so thank you Ron but um anyhow so once we do that we'll cut off our excess line and then we're ready to put our hook on our clip in so we're using a number two Aberdeen hook I like to use the gold Aberdeen hooks in the river because if you get hooked on logs and roots this hook bends and you don't break your line every time so that's just a little tip so we just clip that one on there and we have it just like so so this is my my river fishing rig here that, that we catch catfish on shell cracker red breast everything like that and the Edisto and Cumbie River the other thing that I use sometimes when we're out there on the river instead of putting on the steel leader sometimes I use a snail so with a with a snail set up your barrel swivel would be tied on your line with your polymer knot just like just like we tied it on and then you have this end so with our snail you simply take your loop and put it through the end of your barrel swivel so you really got to pinch that loop My fingers don't always work like I like them to. So you put that through. Make sure your knot goes through. Then you simply put your hook through your loop. Just like so. And you just pull it tight. Let you not come through. Come on. Just like that. And this is where, where my hand is, is your fishing rod and your lead. And then you've got your barrel swivel. And then you've got your snail, which is basically just a short lever. But they work very good for river fishing as well. And they already got your hook tied on and everything like that. So I'd like to thank you for watching today. I'd like to remind you to watch our fishing playlist videos that, that we put together. Remember to subscribe to our channel. If you have any comments or questions, put them down in the comment section. You know, we, we try and respond to everybody that, that has questions or makes comments, a different kind of knots, or maybe you have some ideas that are, are different than what I have that maybe you could teach me something or something like that I'm always looking to learn new stuff and use it out there when we go remember to get out there and go and that's the only way you can do it God bless you and we'll see you on the next video